Ash from Super Videos back for another Q&A video. This is going to be Q&A number 59. As always, if you're not caught up with The Walking Dead's TV show and comic book, you may not want to watch this video because it may spoil some things for you. That being said, let's get right into this. The first question comes from Jig Jig Almandrez, the goose, and you ask, My question is, do you think there will be a Carol and Negan interaction? I definitely think there will be. In All Out War Season 8, there's going to be a point where Negan and Carol are going to come face to face and you know it's going to be interesting to see how they interact and what Negan thinks of Carol. Obviously Negan doesn't know how badass Carol is so once he finds out his reaction is going to be very interesting to see and it's going to be interesting to see his opinions about Carol once he finds out about how much of a soldier Carol really is. Next question comes from Ronnie Thomas. You ask, do you think Negan will break Rick's leg like in the comics or no? I definitely think that he will hurt Rick to an extent, but I don't know if he's going to break his leg or anything. They might remix it and have him break maybe his arm or something. They might not make Rick as weak as he is in the comics. Obviously in the comics, at this point, that event had a big impact on Rick's life afterwards. And I don't know if they're going to do that in the show. It's definitely going to be interesting if they do that. And I hope that they do that. But I think that they may remix that part of the story. Next question also comes from Ronnie Thomas. You ask, if Carl was a girl, do you think the history of The Walking Dead would have been different? I don't think it would have been that different. Carl's storyline would definitely have been different. But in terms of the overall show, I don't think it would have been that much different. Maybe portions of the story would have been different, but not overall. Next question also comes from Ron Thomas. Your question is, what is your favorite soundtrack in The Walking Dead? Mine is Struggling Man, sung by Beth. So my favorite soundtrack would have to be the one by Hosier. I'm drawing a blank on the name of the track, but that has to be my favorite track. Because it has a lot of soul in it, and it fits in perfectly with you know, the storyline that they had in the second half of season six and what they were doing at that time. The last question comes from the one and only bad guy. You ask, do you think The Walking Dead should follow the comics when it comes to locking Negan up? I definitely do. I think that that moment was a big moment. So obviously, if they don't want to have Negan in there in the long run, like in the comics, they can change things. And have Negan not be locked up, but because Negan being alive and, you know, making it further than anyone expected in the comics, that's what made it very interesting. So if they want to make it different and exciting and interesting for non-comic readers and TV show only fans and make them see that it's not always the case that the villains always die and are defeated and dealt with, they can do it through keeping the comic source material and having Negan locked up and come back into the story later on. And if they choose to stick with the comics, maybe be on the survivor's side for a bit. That's it. Those are basically all the questions we have. Thank you for participating. If you want to participate in my next Q&A video, write your questions in the comment section below. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.